Hello again, I was asked to do a video on trigonometric leveling. Um, so I'm going to do that, but first I'm just going to kind of give a um, quick definition of leveling uh, and, you know, and the different types of leveling also. So I might not to get to trig in this video, but I will do it in the next. Because um, I want to talk about differential um, real quick first. All right, so leveling is the title. Leveling. And leveling is the process of transferring elevation from one point whoa one point to another okay and there's two common ways of doing this one is differential leveling All right, and the other is trigonometric leveling. Oops. All right, so with differential leveling, you actually use a level. All right, you use a level for trigonometric you use a total station total station All right, and uh, and this you're gonna have to use um, uh, trigonometric leveling uses the zenith angle and the slope distance, right? Zenith, zenith angle and the slope distance from the total station. All right, so first I'll, I'm gonna talk about um, differential leveling um, real quick. So say that you have all right, here's the, here's the ground surface. All right. Okay, and you have some you have points here. Here's your first point. And say here is your second point, the ridge. All right, and say this is a uh, some kind of NGS marker, right? NGS is the National Geodetic Survey. NGS marker. All right, and these you can you can find all around the U.S. and it will have you know an elevation assigned to it online. So say that the elevation assigned to this one is very easily 100, 100 feet. All right, we want to we want to transfer this elevation to this next point, right? What, what? How do we figure out what this next point is? Well, we set up our level. Alright. Here's our level. And we use something called an elevation rod or a filly rod or range pole or... I mean, sorry, not a range pole. <laughs> But an elevation rod or a filly rod, I call it. And uh, it looks like this. Uh, they go up to, I think, uh, most go up to like 25 feet. It's supposed to be straight, but I'm not that good. All 
All right, and this this elevation rod will have um, numbers on it. It'll it'll have uh, numbers down to the hundredth, right, going all the way up to 25 feet, starting at zero at the bottom and going up to 25 feet. So what you do at the level, whoever, who's ever at the level, is going to read the number on this elevation rod right through this level line this is our level line all right and whatever the whatever the reading is here that's always a positive reading right it's always a positive reading all right say this is five five feet right a positive five so that means the height of the level is hi the height height of the instrument is 105 105 feet right so then you're gonna turn turn the level to the next point and read what the elevation rod is here looks about two we'll say this is two right so but this is gonna be minus minus two because we want to get the elevation here right so we have the elevation on this marker we plus five it's a height of instrument, that's a level line, so wherever you look here, it's still the same height. And then you're going to subtract whatever you're reading here, say it's 2. So that's going to be um, 103, an elevation of 103 on point 0.2. Point 0.2, this is point 0.1. Alright, so now let's move up. Alright, we're going to take the rod out here. And we're going to put it on our next point. All right, we have another point out here. I'm going to set the level up. All right, now we have another, we have the Philly rod over here. Or elevation rod, whatever you want to call it. And we have our level line again. This necessarily isn't two now, right? It's the whatever height you're reading. So it'll change. But we have our elevation here, right? This doesn't change, right? Our elevation is, is not going to change. So it's 103.00. Okay, so say our new reading is three, right? Our new reading is three, so we're going to add three. And our on our our foresight is going to be let's say this is six minus six so we'll add three so that's going to be 106 so our hi 106 right minus six is going to be 100 again right elevation here at point three is 100 right so it looks like it's going to be the same height. It's our same height as our NGS marker here. Okay. So usually what you want to do is a level loop. What we call a level loop. All right. So you're going to keep doing what you've done here and loop all the way around. Right. Come all the way around here in a big circle and tie back into point one. Right, you're gonna tie into point one. Tie into point one again. Right, this is for a check. You're not gonna be always perfect. You're not gonna come around here and hit one hundred perfectly. It's very I mean you might be might do it sometimes, but it's very hard to do. So say that, all right, and that's your error, right? There's human error, instrument error uh, throughout the survey. So you, you can't be perfect all the time. What you want to do is check whatever that is when you come back, whatever that elevation is when you come back, right? So say point one, the elevation starting off is equal to 100. Point two, I mean, sorry, point one at the end. Point one prime, the elevation 
to the 100.12. Right, so it's 12 hundredths higher than the elevation we started out with. And say we did 20 setups using 20 setups. Right, so what we want to do is take the difference of these, which is going to be 0 0.02, I mean 0 0.12, and we want to divide it by 20. Right, we want to divide it by our number of setups. And that's going to be 0 0.006. So six thousandths. Right, that's pretty close. That's that's I mean that's pretty accurate. Um, uh, I'd say that you know within tolerance, depending depending. on the accuracy of your survey right what you, what you need the accuracy to be you know what 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 class of survey does it need to be uh, and the length the length of it. Right, usually the longer the loop or the bigger the loop, the more error you have at the end here, right? But then that the more, you know, the bigger the loop, usually the more setups you have. Right? So as if this gets bigger, this usually um, proportionally this gets bigger too. So your number usually probably you know if you do it to survey correctly and take your time, you should get a number that's reasonable. So this is this is reasonable. So what you want to do is you're going to subtract six thousandths of elevation from each point, right? And that'll bring you right back down to 100, right? So on this one, you'll take six thousandths off, so it's going to be 102.94, right? It's going to be 102.94. Um, so you're going to go around and do that to every elevation, and that will balance your um, level loop. All right, just, but just make sure that you're within tolerance in your survey. Okay, so that's it for um, this video on differential leveling. Uh, the next video will be on trigonometric. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good day.